Hi folks. Well, I got some sweet corn going. Actually, it's a quite an old type of corn. I just named them black corn. And I just uh, named it, where are we at here? White corn. Because that's what they are, basically. Is some's black and some's white. Now, where I live... We're pretty cold and the seasons are pretty short and this particular corn I tried last season and we just simply didn't have enough time in the season for it to mature enough to actually get any cobs so I thought this year I'm going to change it a little bit and I'm going to do these um, some inside growing and then when it gets when we're out of the uh, frost you know warnings and zone then I'll plant it outside so I imagine these are going to be you know, my, perhaps maybe a foot, well, they're pr pretty much a foot now, I guess. Maybe a couple feet tall before I actually put them outside. And in case anybody wanted to try it, I just wanted to basically give an example of how I did it. All I did was took some old coffee cups, and I put a little bit of dirt in them. Not very much. Maybe an inch and a half at the bottom of it. Wet in the soil. And then um, buried the seed. Let it sprout. As you can see, these ones here are still like that. Now, there's not very much dirt in there. Now, the nice thing with corn is, and the bad part about corn, is that corn don't like to be transplanted all that much, from what I understand. I don't know if it's true or not. But being that I understand it that way, this is the way that, in the method that I'm going to do it. I start off with that little bit of dirt in the cup. And you can see here, and the beauty with corn is, is that the stalk, this part of the stalk, will basically just grow roots. So as the corn got developed like it is now, I'm going to actually fill the rest of this cup up with soil. Like I have with these cups. So it's going to support the corn nice. It has a lot more dirt now to spread its roots and do its thing. And then in a month or so, well, let's see, what are we here now? We're uh, just about the middle of April. So I'm not going to put this outside until beginning of June. So there's still a good month and a half away before these are going to actually be planted outside. So they're going to be quite large by that time. It's probably going to take up quite a bit of room inside here, but that's okay. Make some adjustments, move a few things around so they have a, a place to grow and do their thing. And then once we're out of that risk of frost and having frost, that's going to harm the plants. I'm just going to realistically kind of tear open the cup a little bit and try not to disturb the dirt at all. And then drop that into its own little pocket of soil outside. And I'm hoping by doing this that there's going to be a lot of time left in the season for these to do their thing and come to a maturity point where I can actually eat the cob and maybe get some seed. But time will tell the story, of course. But it's the method of my madness. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that probably just said, ah, I'm not even going to bother growing corn. But for myself, I know how much I enjoy sweet corn. And uh, it's not getting cheaper. So growing your own is, is one real affordable way of being able to eat something you really, really enjoy. And it's a non-GMO seed, so it's non-GMO this, this corn is going to be. And it's just a, it's just a good food to eat, that's pretty much the way I see it. Well, take care, folks. Thank you for subscribing, and if you have not, please do so.